Hi, this is Robin Moses, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial, and I'm using um, the Miss Pro. It's a limited edition line, and um, it's going to be available pretty soon, so um, look out for it. This one's called Just Lilac like That, number 9018, and it's a beautiful light lilac, and I'm going to overcoat it with um, Glints and Glam number 9019 and th these are both limited editions so if you really like these um, buy them up because they're not going to be around for a long time I like them a lot I'm here with um, Gatorade <laughs> is that your name? <laughs> and so I'm going over what with that see how that looks just so yummy so um, I'm going to leave this one plain and I'm going to go over all of them with the Glints and Glam. And make candy. And then I'll meet you back. Okay, so now with, um, I'm going to show you my palette. Boom. I'm going in with um, this purple. And when I, when I lighten it up, it's going to be, it's going to really match well with the lilac. Okay, you want them to match kind of. And then I'm going to work from the light areas and the medium areas like this. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to start out. Let me scroll down. Okay, is that too? No, that's probably. Oh, I'm right on the line. Okay. Okay, so with um, a really nice green. What the? Thank you. I'm going to go in. this and then just do kind of like a seagrass with this beautiful green color and this is a paint folk art and I'm not sure what color it is but it's um, a metallic green eh, metallic medium and now I'm gonna you can wait let let this dry that would be normal but we're not we don't have time for normal go like that and go like this, like that. And I'm going to push the colors in first. And then I'm going to go like this. Like that. And then I'll let that dry. All right, and here is where we all pull it together. <laughs> and everybody stops breathing. All right, with the most lightest, here we go. The lightest, um, see how thin this paint is? You want to keep it that thin. When it gets any thicker than that, you want to spray it and keep it this thin. You want to work as thin as possible, okay, in a dark brown color. See how it's a stain? It looks like a stain of age, okay? So here we go. But it doesn't take away that I love doing them. That. And behind the camera, I blow dried it with a blow dryer, and so it dried really fast, so I might have cracks in my purple. If that's true and you see them, sorry. Top coat will fix it. There's that. Okay. So I've outlined, and really, outlining just takes patience and practice. So if you guys can't get it first time, please know that I've done this for so many years of my life that that's why it looks easy. It's not easy. Now see where I have a little bit of extra room. This is where I'm going to add the little magic touches that make it look really pretty. Like that. <clears throat> See how I dotted that in? I didn't I didn't draw it in this time because it's just too tiny. Okay.
<laughs> and then do the little tiny dots in there like that. And then with the purple, go back in. Okay. Perfect. Perfecto. So we will do that. And do you see how it, it makes it even that much more precise? So that's how you get the precise look. Okay, and okay, and here is the finished product of the, the lavender nails on um, the Station Lavender. Um, what is that called? Uh, okay, and here is the end result of the lavender flowers. Anyways, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and um, please look at me at Robin Moses Nail Art at Facebook or go to um, Robin Moses Nail Art on YouTube. Subscribe, fan, Twitter, tweet, <laughs> tumble, and Pinterest. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>